Hey, 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 YouTube, it's All Things Pretty, and I am coming to you with a design team video. I am coming to you with an image from Tallulah Rouge on Zibit, and I have the web website here. It's www.zibit.com backslash Tallulah Rouge, and I am one of the It Girls for June and July. And so I just wanted to share with you my design team project using Tallulah Umbrella Girl. Isn't she so cute? I think she is adorable and I love her little um, curly puffs. So um, let me go ahead and show you what I created using this beautiful image. So here is my design team project. And hopefully you can see that I'm going to raise my camera just a little. Okay, so this box that I used was actually a perfume box and I received my Mother's Day gift in this. This was a um, perfume bottle and um, lotion from Coach. So I just took this box, which you can see here, this is the back of it. I decided not to finish it because no one's really going to see it when it's on display and I decided to use it for my project. As you can see, it's dimensional. And let's see if I can remember what I used. So, for papers that I used. Okay. I'm gonna move right away for a second. I used this Amy Tangerine pad. And this was the main paper that I used down here and I cut it down to an 8 by 11, 8.5 by 11 size sheet of paper and I ran it through my printer and then I also let's see what else, what else used this paper stack here by Die Cuts with a View and it is called the Playtime Stack and I used, uh, let's see, all the pieces are not displayed on here, but let me see if I can show you from my scraps. Uh, okay, I had this sheet of cloud paper that I used, and it is, um, has glitter on it. And then I used this sheet right here. And the rest of this has had grass on it and the weeds, this piece right here. So I cut the piece off that didn't have the big frog on it and used just the grass. And then I used the same sheet of paper and this green piece that you see here I used on the bottom. And I paper pieced her and this was my base as you can see. It's all cut out and I experimented with it with some of my Spectrum Noir markers here because I wanted to determine if I liked her colored or if I wanted to leave it with the cardstock background and I opted for color. So I ran the image a few times on different sheets of paper and then I paper pieced her. And then I just cut down my shapes and my pages to the sizes to fit this box. Um, on the inside, hopefully you can see that, I use some gems to act as stones. And these are some flowers that I purchased from, hmm, I can't remember where I got them from, so I'll just say my stash. And then these stamens were in my stash. And yeah, I colored her up with my Spectrum Noir markers, which I'm still trying to learn how to use. But I think she came out okay. I'm not upset about it. And then I added some glossy accents to her lips. Let's see if I can give you a close up. Her eyes, I um, colored using, let's see this pencil right here that I got in my art snacks monthly art subscription I use that for the pupil the outer side of the pupil 
And then for the inner pupil, I used this American Crafts Glitter Marker in Metallic. And then I used my Sakura Jelly Roll Pin in white for the white part of her eyes. So these were the three pens that I used for her eyes. And then for her skin tone on this cardstock, I used, I think it was G83 for my Spectrum Noir, something like that, GB3, I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm still experimenting with her, with those markers. But anyway, this is my design team project. Hopefully you like it. And this butterfly was a butterfly I purchased from... Oh, Tuesday morning. Yes, this was a Tuesday morning butterfly. So yeah, this is my project. I am very excited with how she turned out. And I think I'm going to put her in my classroom this year. Need some happy pieces in there to keep me motivated and inspired throughout the year. So once again, if you want this beautiful Umbrella Girl image, please visit this website right here. I will also leave the link below to her Etsy store and to her blog. And that is Poet Spice here on YouTube as Tallulah Rouge or Jamie Lola Tallulah. Thank you all for watching.